Well, I'll tell you an interesting story. When I was in the legislature, one yeah. of my assistants was able to get a, a copy of the agenda of Grant Notley, Rachel's dad. Yeah. And he brought me a copy of it. And whether or not he should have had it doesn't matter. I ended up with a copy of it in my desk. And it, it was basically the Communist Manifesto. That's what it was. So even then, you know, they talked about Grant Notley being a kind socialist, but just like all socialists, you know, they're they're very patient, and their agenda is. I used to say, well, socialism, a little bit of socialism, but a little. It's like being a little bit pregnant. It just just gives it enough time, and it becomes something other than a little bit. And that's that's the way I viewed it. Grant Notley treated me well there, but his goal was to implement a communist agenda in Alberta and his daughter is doing the same thing. That's that's really interesting that you bring that What'd you think of that, Greg? Well that's a great big wow all caps and three exclamation points. Uh, when I first heard that and you remember Val, you heard this clip virtually real time uh, and have graciously reshared it here today. I, I featured it on my YouTube channel because it's so important uh, for especially for Albertans to know. Oh, goodness gracious. Do we have a do we have a, a Kessler on the line? Not yet. OK, that was uh, the tape. Anyhow, I was uh, I was amazed because uh, Val Val. He basically has provided with this clip, Gordon has provided, I call it forensic evidence, I mean forensic evidence that indeed, back in the 60s, it was not a conspiracy theory to think that communism was trying to infiltrate itself into the United States and Canada, uh, parachuting right into our campuses, and communism, literally Marxist, right out of the old Soviet Union, right out of what we see from China these days as far as uh, human rights uh, violations and oppression, and that, that actually existed because it was a document in Ralph Notley, and you can provide some history there as far as who he is. A lot of my American uh, uh, readers and listeners don't know who the Notleys are, but the, the communism, the concept that communism was infiltrated into our society, into our media, into Hollywood, into every, everything else, there's proof in the pudding right there, as my aunts in England would say, proof in the pudding, Val. Uh, so, I, goodness, I, I can't wait to chat with Gordon directly, whether it's now or a wonderful follow-up episode, which we can do soon, uh, but uh, I can't wait to hear here. Uh, from it, because that is, as I say, it's called forensic evidence. The Communist Manifesto being in the desk of uh, Notley, Ralph Notley, uh, Grant Notley. Are you kidding? So there we go. I'll turn the mic.